everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have a new release from Chanel all ready for Christmas and it's another flanker from their Coco Mademoiselle line called Le Privé hmm I'll be giving you my first impressions my thoughts on it in a minute but first um big hello to anyone who's new here welcome we are all about perfumes here so do check out my hundreds of other perfume videos I have so many and in particular in the Coco Mademoiselle world I have done a video explaining all the different types um I know it is very confusing there are so many versions so I'll leave that link down below if you are a regular and you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support you know I really appreciate it and as always I will leave a link to where you can get this in the UK Europe US Canada and Australia so let's get into it so Coco Mademoiselle number one best-selling perfume pretty much everywhere especially at Christmas time so popular when I used to work in a perfume shop it was the number one thing people were asking for at Christmas time men just come in Coco Mademoiselle please yep easy done they had no understanding of the different types and sizes and everything um they basically just get whichever one you advise them to get um but I guess it's so well known Kira Knightley the face of the fragrance of course and every year every Christmas the adverts are everywhere and I'm sure this year will be no different so it makes sense that they are releasing a new version now ready for Christmas time when I saw this was coming out I was a little bit apprehensive because we've had so many versions right we have the eau de toilette version we have the intense version we have the hair mist we have all the body products we have pure perfume sometimes and i thought do we need another version i'm very familiar with this smell i used to wear it all the way through my teens the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum and my mum wears it as like her signature scent so whenever i smell anyone wearing coco Mademoiselle, i immediately think of my mum at home so i find it a very like homely smell it is a good smell it smells expensive it smells classy it smells womanly it is expensive so here in the UK it's well over 100 pounds for the full size 100 ml bottle now um goes up every year by about 10 percent just keeps on going up so it's one of the most expensive mainstream perfumes you can buy you know you want to really like it if you're going to spend that money um, what's quite nice about this new Le Privé is it is of course cheaper, it's a smaller size and it's not as concentrated. So the way that it's described is a perfume for the night. Now what that means is it doesn't mean it's for going out at night like a nighttime party perfume. It's the opposite, it's for like when you're staying in, um, hashtag COVID, and you are, I don't know, in with your partner having a romantic night in or something this is how the branding seems to be so let me tell you how Chanel describe it so they describe it as the essence of a bold and free woman a soft and sensual fruity oriental specially created for night for the first time Olivia Polong has imagined a night fragrance with Low Prevail, I wanted to create a light and delicate version of Coco Mademoiselle, imagining a night fragrance like a soft and sensual veil. So I do see what they're getting at here. It does feel like a soft veil of the fragrance. It doesn't feel like as strong as the Eau de Parfum or the Eau de Intense one or even the Eau de Toilette. In terms of what it smells like, so when I first sprayed it, I immediately got the smell of classic Coco Mademoiselle and I thought oh no here we go they've literally just released another basic eau de toilette of Coco Mademoiselle however however the smell of Coco Mademoiselle is primarily three notes it's patchouli it's rose and it's an orange smell and it's pretty equal I'd say amongst those three for this one I got that same smell initially but after about two or three seconds what I was then getting is I was, I was getting the orange <clears throat> now I really like that because I like fruity scents and all the different versions of Coco Mademoiselle for me I smell the orange in there but it's not a main main note like the strong strongest note and I like that it is here um, 
of course orange is not as intense note as patchouli or rose so it I see why that's appropriate for a light nighttime veil in this case because it's not something that you know you're going to walk down the street and everyone's going to be able to smell oranges on you like they can with patchouli and rose so it makes sense at night time you want something more delicate they've gone for the orange as a much stronger like feature of the smell so i really like that and if you like original coco mademoiselle smell you like oranges then this will probably be your favorite smell of all of them the spray itself does spray it quite like a mist almost so i think with this the way i would apply it is i'd literally just spray it all over me like clothes hair everything i wouldn't use it like a perfume people put it on their wrists or on their chest i just sort of spray it all over you like a veil and perhaps if you were wearing this going to bed you could even spray it on you you know while you're sat in bed so it goes a bit on the pillow and everything so it's kind of all around you and i guess i have these very romantic images of this you know very chic lady in her very expensive nightwear spraying this all over herself and then she has her beautiful husband comes in you know he just thinks she always smells like that when she goes to bed you know i think that's the kind of vibe they're going for here I'd also recommend this for people who just don't want a heavy smell. So the Eau de Toilette of Coco Mademoiselle is lighter than the Eau de Parfum, but it still has, you know, projection and strength. And it, some people are really sensitive to perfume. So if you are looking for something very nice and classic and beautiful, but light, very light, then this would be a, like the best option from Chanel for you, I think. There's definitely also a powderiness to this, again, that comforting nighttime feel. And I should note that they have taken out the patchouli, so there's no patchouli in here as a fragrance note. It's just rose and orange and some powderiness. And they have a bit of jasmine in as well. Jasmine is um, features in the originals as well, but I really get orange and that signature rosy Coco Mademoiselle smell. In terms of price, it comes in two sizes. This is a 50ml, also comes in 100ml, and cheaper than the Eau de Parfum, the 50ml is at 67 and the 100ml is around 95 So a good, you know, maybe £20 cheaper than how you're going to be able to get the Eau de Parfum is cheaper but it's still more expensive than a lot of other Eau de Parfum perfumes out there. I think this will be an interesting one if you know someone always gets Coco Mademoiselle for Christmas perhaps and you want to mix it up and get something different or you want to get something accompanying accompanying Coco Mademoiselle then this could be nice you know just to mix it up it's something different it's a cute idea um, you know, why not? It's a nice other thing to have in the extensive Coco Mademoiselle range. So yeah, so guys, let me know what you think of this new release. How do you think it compares to the others in the range? Like I said, I have done lots of videos on that, so I'll leave them linked down below, but keen to hear your thoughts as always. Have you tried this new release? Um, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.